You need to know this information right off that. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna and in today's video, we are going to be talking about media kits and what they actually are. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you definitely do so, so that you do not miss out on any of the content regarding how to be a fashion stylist, how to start and create your personal brand and how to get booked. Let's dive in. Okay, so what is a media kit? Essentially, a media kit is something that you would hand over to a brand in order for them to understand who you are, what your brand is all about, your personal brand is all about, who your audience is, and why they will want to work with you. Now, brands are not going to just be handing money out left and right just to say, oh, maybe they have their audience that would love to buy my product. There are many different ways that brands will hire someone to promote their products, especially in the fashion world. Now, influencer marketing is huge. There are billions and billions and billions of dollars being put into influencers and not even necessarily going into commercials the way they once were. So that is why it's so important to create your personal brand, your business, and also be able to have a solid foundation when it comes to what it is you're putting on your brand guide or your brand kit, your media kit. Now I called it a brand guide because it's literally kind of like the same thing when it comes to a business's brand guide, but this is more for your personal brand. And a media kit is going to provide all the information that they will need and it's good for you to know you need to know this information right off that like you need to know who your audience is and what attracts them to your page and what content they like and all those things I want to show you guys exactly what that is and how you can get one very easily for free so that you can start to either promote yourself reach out to other people if you want to partner with them for any type of products or services that you'd like to promote or if someone reaches out to you for your media kit now the first thing is going to be a bio. Who are you? What is it that, you know, a brand would love to know about you? What is your miss what is your mission? What is your purpose? What is who who are you in a sense of why you are doing what you're doing and why you're promoting certain things or why you actually have your social media platform and what it is that you're all about. So the first part is going to be your bio. Brands are really going to want to know what it is that you guys align with, your mission, your morals, different things that they really want to understand and get a better understanding of who you are. Now, the next part of the brand guide is going to be what platforms you're actually on. Are you on TikTok? Are you on Instagram? And how many followers do you actually have? They're going to want to know because a lot of times some brands followers or audience may only be on one platform or they just may be more engaged on one platform versus the other platform. So it's good to, I would say it's good to have different ones that you are on. However, when you're starting out, make sure that you're focusing on one because you want to make sure that you master something before you jump to the other. It's going to be really hard trying to maneuver and do things on multiple platforms. But if you haven't yet checked out any of my other content, I show you how you can also use that on different platforms, like use your same content and put it on different platforms. I mean, now everyone has these shorts. Everyone has these angled videos where you can upload them on multiple different platforms platforms like TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or Stories. And so it's good that you'll be able to do that. However, when you are creating and building your audience, I do suggest that you focus on one at a time. Now, I did mention a little bit about the audience size, but that's number three. The audience size is important, but not necessarily. Many brands are really looking for micro influencers because it seems they have much more engagement. So you don't necessarily have to have tens and thousands and hundreds of thousands of followers because studies have shown that those with higher followings they're not really real sometimes or they're just not that engaged. So people with lower audience, lower audience size have a little bit more engagement and a lot of times a lot more engagement than those with a bigger, broader, um, you know, audience. So don't get discouraged if you don't have a lot of followers. Just know that, you know, you the more you interact and the more you engage with your audience, the better because 
brands really want to see that engagement and i'll also show you how you can find out how much engagement you get on those particular posts that you're creating if it's more so your shorts if it's more so you know your short form videos if it's more so photos or lives i'll show you exactly how you can do that um and it's good to know you'll have to know that especially for your media kit now the next is going to be your demographic who is in your demographic is it women versus male we have much more women following you is it um, different locations different cities what cities are more followers and where are they coming from like the brand is going to want to know where your audience is the same way they need to know where their audience is they need to know where yours is as well and see again if it aligns and what is the age like the age is important too in the demographic they need to know is it 24 to 35 is it 45 to 55 like they need to know because like i said they're going to want to make sure that everything aligns with who their audience is and why they would want you to promote their products all right and yes we did talk a little bit about engagement but engagement is so important you need to know exactly how much engagement you're getting. Are you commenting back? Are you liking other people's photos? Are you building a community, which means trust? The brand is going to want to see how much engagement you have. Is it a real solid community? Are you engaging with them and having conversations with them? Are you promoting certain things to them and they trust you enough to actually buy a product? Now you may not have anything that you're currently selling right now, but they can get an idea of your engagement and how you know active your followers are simply just by seeing how engaged they are in your comments your likes and it is a good way to find out how to do that by actually I'll show my phone so that you guys can see oh where's my phone at okay so they are going to want to see exactly who your audience is okay so i'll show you guys exactly how to find at least your engagement and what you have going on in the back end of your instagram so what you're going to want to do when you get there you'll need to know if you are either uh, set up as a creative or a business on instagram then it'll say click your professional dashboard now that you've gone to your your dashboard you're going to click on see all in the top right hand corner and then you'll be able to see a full overview and you can change it from the dates and everything that you want to do however you can also just see what's on here so you can go to your reels let's say for example you wanted to see the data on your reels you'll be able to search and see which ones are doing the best which within the last 30 days or if you want it like i said to extend it you'll click at the top and you can hit over the last two years which posted the best and you can do the same thing for your stories and you can also do it um, for your actual just posts now in regards to your followers you can hit total followers here and you'll see the analytics as far as the cities that most of your followers are in the age range that they are and if they are male female which one is the most um, of your followers so that is how you'll be able to see um, exactly the analytics that you'll need to put on your media kit and the next is going to be your pricing what is the prices that you're going to be charging for your posts now some influencers they don't put a price on there at all but if you would like you can also put a price on there maybe you have shorts that you're uploading and you know based on the information that you've provided them they are your audience and 250 dollars is going to be what you charge per post now that can be for an instagram short that can be for your reels like your posts no matter what you will have a price for whichever one that is you can do the same price for each one you can do different prices for your shorts your posts your reels but having the pricing on there is all so something that you can put on your media kit and then the next section is going to be how to get in contact with you now you can put your email on there if you have a website you can put that on there as well but more than likely you can literally just put your email and they will be able to get in contact with you um, I know a lot of people use like whatsapp as well but I keep it professional with the email so those are the seven things that you will need on your media kit and you can head over to canva where they have 
all these different free templates that you can use and you can also tailor them and edit them according to what you like and what's best for your brand and your colors and all those things. I definitely talked about that in one of my videos where it was regarding how to create your personal brand. So make sure that it aligns with your page. You want everything to be cohesive. You want your page to be cohesive. You want your content to be cohesive and you also want your media kit to be as well. It's very professional. So making sure that your colors, your fonts and all those things align is going to show the brand that you are serious about your business. Okay. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. I hope that you found this very helpful. Make sure that you subscribe and share this with your fashion bestie. I'll see you next time. Bye.